In this video, let us solve more problems based on Euclid's division lemma. So the question goes like this. Show that any positive odd integer is of the form 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3 where q is some integer. Now, again, now since this problem is based on Euclid's division lemma, we need the equation of the Euclid's division lemma which is a equals bq plus r and where r is greater than or equal to 0 or less than b and I hope you know the reason by now why r should be less than b because it cannot be equal to b or greater than b because b is the divisor here. So here a is the dividend or the number which is going to get divided b is the number that is going to divide or that is the divisor q stands for quotient and r stands for remainder. So now what we need is 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3. So here it is. It's bq plus r. So in place of b, we need 4. And in place of r, we need 1 or 3. So now let us take any integer a, any odd positive integer a, and let b be equal to 4 for obvious reasons because we need 4q plus 1 and b has to be 4. So now if a is any odd positive integer and b is 4, by division lemma, there also exists other integers, q and r. So now substituting in this equation the values of whatever we've found, we get a equals, in the place of b we have 4, so a equals 4q plus r. Now definitely here, r is greater than or equal to 0 or less than b, which is 4 in this case. So the possibilities of the equation or the possibilities of the values of r are three things. One is a equals 4q plus 0. It can be equal to 0. Another one is a equals 4q plus 1. I'm sorry, there are four possibilities for r. So 4q plus 1. And then a equals 4q plus 2 because 1 is greater than 0 and still less than 4. 2 is also greater than 0, still less than 4. One more possibility is a equals 4q plus 3. So these are the four possibilities. Now out of these four possibilities, now show that any odd positive integer is of the form 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3. We need an odd integer, an odd integer which is positive. So if you take 4q and substitute any number, we've got 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12 and so on. It keeps on increasing by 4 and the result is an even number. So this can't be one of the forms. a equals 4q plus 1. If q is 1, then 4 times 1 is 4 and plus 1 is 5. If q is 2, 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9 and so on. So if you substitute any integer in the place of q in this, then we get an odd number, odd positive number. So this is there. So this is one of the forms. I'll just do it and show it to you here. 4, 4 times 1 plus 1 equals 5. 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 9, 4 times 3 plus 1 equals 13 and so on. Let's check this out. a equals 4q plus 2. So a equals 4 times 1 plus 2 which is equal to 4 times 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6 and then we have a equals 4 times 2 plus 2 which is 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 10 and then we have 4 times 3 plus 2 where we have 14 and so on. So again, this is even positive numbers, which is not the need. Now we need odd positive integers. So this is not the form. And then we've got the final one, which is a equals 4q plus 3. And substituting q by different integers, we have 4 times 1 plus 3, which is equal to 7. And then we have 4 times 2 plus 3, which is equal to 11. And then we have a equals 4 times 3 plus 3, which is equal to 15 and so on. If you see that, 7, 11, 15 are all odd positive integers. So this is one of the forms. So therefore, a equals 4q plus 1 and a equals 4q plus 3 are the forms of any positive odd integers. So this ends this video.